eat some food. Uh, and then about that time, you know, they're setting up the stage, and I'm usually one of the first ones to stage, and I just go up there and put some headphones on and start DJing or play some music. And then the rest of the guys kind of stroll up on stage. We do sound check. We have a little dinner, and we play a show. And then an after party. And that's a perfect day. Low stress with a big payoff at the end. We love that big payoff at the end of the day. Um, all right, here's one from my good friend and uh, one of my uh, many Spanish uh, tutors, I guess you'd call it. Her name is Cecilia Gantis, but we can call her Cece, uh, Kill. Okay. Cece asks, what drives you to keep making amazing music? And here's the part I like. What keeps you grounded? And I can assure you Mr. Kilmore is, is a very grounded person. What keeps me grounded? Uh, family and friends. Uh, I have the same core of friends that I've had since before I joined the band. It's not many, you know, I could count on both of my hands how many they are, you know. Uh, I, my, my best friend that I've had since kindergarten is still one of my best friends, uh, you know. So I think friends and family keep you grounded, you know. You got to stay in touch with them. When you, when you, the people that lose touch with reality are the people that have the people friends surrounding them, telling them how great they are and, and how high in the sky they are. And when you're always around that, you know, you're going to start to believe that. Your, your real friends will, will tell you you're not, and they'll kick you when you get up. <laughs> you know, they'll, tell, they'll let you know what's going on. So I have a good set of friends, you know, and I have a, I have a really good, strong uh, family with a lot of good morals, and I think that's, you know, what keeps me grounded. Okay. Um Let's see, let's take another one here. Again, lots of people, God, I, I get a, we get a ton of emails about the new record. So, again, here's one that, that maybe you can talk about in, in a general sense. You've been there for every record since, uh, with the exception science. of science, yeah. right? And you joined during the, the course of science here. Yeah. Um, you and I know that there was a whole process that went to get you guys to making this new record. And everybody wants to know what's it like. If Valen... Valen Hernandez asks, what is the difference, Chris, between this record and the others? And the second question, what are your personal musical influences? Uh, the biggest difference between this record and the other records is that we uh, took some time off. Uh, before, we would be on tour, come home, and take like a day, and then go into the rehearsal studio, write a record, go into the studio, record it, and then go back out on tour. And it was nonstop, and it just kept going. Uh, I think over time, we kind of lost a little inspiration as to why we were doing this, and, and we needed to take a break, uh, and everybody went their own ways, and, uh, you know, Mikey went to school, Brandon wrote a record, I think Ben wrote two records, you know, I did a record and, and a little bit of producing, and uh, Hoser went and took drum lessons, uh, you know, and was raising a child now. So everybody got new perspectives on life and sort of, you know, I don't know how you would explain it, but, you know, got a, got a different view on life. And when we came back together, it didn't pose a problem, but it wasn't like we were always together. We had to relearn each other a little bit, and that was a little bit difficult. And it, we still are relearning ourselves again. And uh, it's like we're, we're going through another growing stage, and with, when you grow and you expand, you have growing pains, you know, and and... I'm not saying that they're hard or anything, but but relearning each other and everybody gets a little bit older, everybody gets a little bit more opinionated, everybody says, you know, hey, this is the way it should be, and my idea's better than your idea, and all that kind of stuff, you know, we're all friends, so we let that go, but those are thoughts that we all have, and when we live together constantly, we we'll always know these things about each other, and as we take time apart, we kind of lose that aspect of our band, and and this process is great because we're regrowing those ties again. All right, great. Um, okay, we're going to take another one. This one, I've been trying to, uh, there she's smiling. We're going to get you and say, hang on, don't leave. Um, this was video or Skype roulette here. Somebody just, I was trying to find somebody and up comes Ash. Damn it. Tell us how, you, or, I, I know I spelled that, since pronounced that wrong. How do you pronounce your name? Is it Ash? Ash Damani. Damani. Okay, sorry. I, I apologize for do they, do butchering they, your name there. They call you Ash for short? Yeah, yeah. Nice. My best friend his name is Asha. So it's close. So cool. <laughs> where, are you where are you from, Ash? The Philippines. The Philippines. Oh, nice. 
I think we're going to be going down to the, or you're going down to the Philippines here soon. Yeah. You're going to be there, Osh, okay. Manila? But I'm already saving my allowance for it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Osh, how's the weather down there in the Philippines today? Well, it's summer right now. Our school just ended, and it's really exciting. How nice. old are you, Osh? 16. 16, love that. Okay, do we, we, we ask her how she found out about Inca. Does you have a kill, right? Yeah, sure. I was going to ask you if you were at the concert the last time we were in the Philippines. We had a great concert there. Yeah, well, actually, I had school that day, and I had to choose school over, over the concert because I had to finish some requirements. That's a so, smart woman. Yeah, I know it's a bad choice. <laughs> so anyway, how I got into Incubus, well, you know when a band comes to a certain country and suddenly the country has, like, that band fever? Like, well, when Incubus season came here, so there was Incubus fever. <laughs> and, well, I never really got over the fever, so <laughs> my favorite band. It's nice. incurable. What's your nice. question, Ash? So yeah, well actually, I want in I mean, I want DJ Kill to send me a challenge. I've been looking for a good song to cover on the guitar, and I can't really decide which song. So give on me the, any song. On to cover. the guitar. Yeah. Oh any man. Song. Man, you. There's so many good songs you could cover right now. Uh, I've been listening to this song, and it's not a guitar. There's a little bit of guitar in it, but it's mostly organ. But you know, it's music is music. Uh, it's called a. It's called Scratch, and the name of the band is Souffle, S O U F L A Y, and uh, I've been listening to it because the organ sound, the sound that the guy gets out of the organ, is like it's mesmerizing to me. It's like, how does he do that? And I just for some reason, it, it would be kind of cool to try to learn that on guitar. That might be fun to learn on guitar. Okay. I, it depends right, on your. It one... depends on your skill level as well, because it's a pretty. It's a pretty complicated song, <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, I, I... I'm taking lessons, so uh, give me a month at least. Well, you, if you're taking lessons, you could learn one of our songs, and you know, yeah. maybe, maybe you could I, learn I how to play drive or something like that. And you oh know, my gosh, I'm, I'm so starstruck right now. <laughs> I, I woke up early just for this. Nice, thank well, you. And yeah, maybe then you could post it on YouTube. Chris, do you ever go on YouTube and see how many people, um, bands, musicians, would be musicians cover? Incubus you know, songs. How do you feel about that? You... I love it, but I don't go on YouTube and check those things out because, yeah. you know, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but it's good that everybody, you know, that our music is influential, you know. I think it's kind of flattering. I'm, I, still, I still am like, whenever I see a picture of myself or see myself on TV, I, it reminds me, I think, like you do when you look at your yearbook or something like that. It's like something you don't want to look at. I'm just like, let me just play the music. I'll stay in the background. So even this is a little weird for me, but you know, I'm 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 branching, expanding my horizons. And you're and you're doing fine. Hey, Osh, thanks a lot. We look forward to coming down to uh, the Philippines soon. And uh, for all you folks down in the Pacific Rim, um, you keep saving your allowance too, uh, because I think uh, we'll be coming down your way soon. Osh, thanks for joining us here today. And we're going to... Thank you so much, Okay. You're welcome. Take care. All right. So, back to the... This is, how, how am I doing on the video director job? You're doing okay, Gil? Ryan? All right, For good. the first time, you're doing good. <laughs> you're first doing time. good. Usually, we have a fine crew of people here that handle this, including the gentleman off to my right that you can't see, who without him, uh, Joe and I would still be pulling cords and putting them back in and getting nowhere. Okay. Another question that was posted on one of the forums. Uh, Marina Wilkie who happens to be part of my uh, early morning coffee crew when I'm in the office here. There's only one part of the world that's awake, and, and Marina is part of it. So Marina asks, Chris, what's your favorite part of being in a band, making music, recording an album, being on tour, or giving interviews? <laughs> well, it's definitely not giving interviews, I can tell you that. Uh, the other parts, you know, have their benefits. Recording a record is great. It's like making a baby. I'm sure that you know analogy has been used before. I'm sure I used it before. But you make a baby, it grows up, and and you get to watch it grow. You know, and and you love it no matter what. Um, touring is great because I like to travel, and there's no better way to travel than in a band with your friends playing music for other people that appreciate it. That feeling is incredible. Being on stage, you know, it's something that. 
I wish everybody could do because it's a, 